good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Black men, you know, I really want to be honest with you guys because I have noticed something, not just with, you know, black men, but with black people in general. And that is when, let me just say, if a black person does a crime, okay? For an example, Pookie is selling crack cocaine. Pookie gets 20 years for selling crack cocaine. When a white man is selling cocaine powder or the same thing, he gets five years. What we will do is argue for why do the white man get five years and I get five? And I get what we're saying if it's for criminality. Now again, if it's for opportunities, like a black person don't get the same opportunity as a white person, I'm willing to argue that. But I'm less likely to argue that for criminality. And I understand it, it makes sense to a certain degree, but if I'm gonna argue for something, I'm gonna argue for progress, not stupidity. I I'm not gonna waste my time on that. If you are selling drugs of any kind, you, you don't really have an argument as to why you're doing it. That's my perspective, okay? I get you gotta take care of yourself and things like that happen, but I'm not gonna argue for stupidity. And we tend to do that as black men in the black community. Let's talk about Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was an excellent small forward in the NBA, underrated. He's from Oakland, California, grew up in LA. You know, he has a net, he has a, cha a championship with the Celtics. Great player, we loved him. Paul Pierce, the truth, okay? But Paul Pierce did something three years ago where he basically was working for ESPN. He posted a clip of him, a video, friends only, of him hanging out with some strippers. He was going through a divorce at the time. They were, you know, he was smoking weed, he was high. Again, what person does that unless you're an idiot? Stupid. This is what the guy is doing. It doesn't make any damn sense. Why is he doing it? I just don't know. But he did it, okay? He did that. He instantly got fired, lost his job, lost his opportunity, all of that. Now Shannon Sharp, who basically is in a very similar situation, although not equal because you know, I think it's also different if we would have saw Shannon Sharp doing that, then that's something that we can, you know, really address. But no one saw Shannon Sharp. We just heard, or what we thought we heard. Shannon admitted. Obviously, I, I'm embarrassed. Of what he thought he heard, it was an accident. So they didn't fire him. Shit, now who's crying about that? Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce takes issue with this. He's upset with this. It's unfair, you know? It, it's, it's, it's not the same. Why is that the case? You know, it's, 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 Favoritism. Let me tell you something, brother Paul Pierce. You're gonna be a Hall of Fame forward if you're already not that in, 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 in basketball. Is it fair that somebody who comes in the NBA on the Celtics doesn't start over you in your time, period? I mean, there are other guys that could play basketball that can make shots, but why were you starting over them? I'll, I'll tell you why you were starting over them because clearly you were better than them. So people who are better than you get more opportunities right let, let, let's make sense bro you have not built your brand outside of your nba career anything to the level of shannon sharp let let let, 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 let that be clear and i don't even like shannon sharp you are no shannon sharp you're not even shannon point you're not even shannon cut all right you're at best a below average commentator i mean you're not even that good nobody cares about paul pierce commentary if you started your own podcast right now no one would care because you're just not that good when it comes to this. You're terrible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you're, you're not a Stephen A. Smith. You're not a, a, a Shannon Sharp. You don't move the crowd, bro. Okay? So, of course, Shannon Sharp, who's going to bring views, who's going to bring people, he's going to, he's built his brand better than you and he wants it more. You're too busy twerking it up with the strippers and smoking weed. Now, let me tell this to black men. I see too many guys focused on what other people are doing. I'm gonna address it to you guys because it's a life, it's not fair. It doesn't make sense sometimes to you. Why is somebody getting away with something that you're not? You need to be focused on what you're doing correctly. And if you do something incorrectly, you might get punished harshly than somebody else. It's the truth, all right? Life is not fair, life is not equal. The, the point is, how about you not go live on Instagram with strippers smoking weed? at all you're an older man you should know better than that that's a mistake a young kid makes if i'm in there with strippers let me tell you this i got invited the other day it's about two months ago to um let me say a particular rendezvous brothers I will, I will say that it was a pretty much a booty clapper party and it was going to be um a bunch of booty clappers there they were thick and um you know it was it was here in africa won't tell you exactly where i was at at the time but it definitely was booty clapping it up okay so they wanted me to pull up 
and it was gonna be just some unlimited clapping. And you know, it was, they were trying to, you know, treat me cause I was there and everything like that. It was some friends I knew. I didn't go, I, I didn't go. Not that I didn't wanna be at a Clap State University college tour. Of course I wanted to be at Clap State University at a tour. But, but the reality is, Negro, I'm 43. <laughs> I, I got a mom that watch my content. My, my nieces and my nephews watch my content, okay? And I had to really put that into perspective as a creator. My mom, my grandma and stuff, at first I didn't really care, but yo, when my mom started getting calls from people from my church, I'm like, yo, I gotta really clean this up a little bit, okay? So I'm definitely not gonna be called by somebody, oh, there, there's O'Shea. You never know who knows who. I'm definitely not Paul Pierce, but there is O'Shea over there at, at a Clap State University, booty clapping it up. I know to stay away from that. If I'm gonna clap cheeks, it's gonna be, somewhere at a clapping location that I know that you don't know about and it's not gonna be on no damn video. Now I can't come in and say, well damn, if I get called for the same thing, well damn, he did the same thing, why didn't he get suspended? Because Negro, it doesn't matter at that point. Why were you doing it in the first place? Like I hate that when black men come with these lame ass crybaby ass arguments, bro, like shut up. Just shut up, seriously. Shut up. We are tired of that nonsense. You guys are not, you guys are adults. When does it stop? You shouldn't have been doing that in the first place, bro. You really shouldn't have. You're in a, you're, 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 you're a freaking adult now. Grow up, please stop. Stop looking for, you know, what somebody else did wrong and why they got a better outcome of you doing a damn wrong thing. You, you messed up, you blew it. Stop blowing it and stop crying about you blowing it. It doesn't make any damn sense. We are tired of all of that. It's nonsensical. You're a man. Stand on the fact that if you wouldn't have done that, you'd still be at ESPN. Or maybe you wouldn't have, they would have got rid of your ass anyway, which they, it looks like they would have because you're terrible. That's what it looks like. But if you would have stopped, if you would have did what you're supposed to do, we don't know. We don't know. You don't see Steve Young doing stuff like that, do you? Or even Stephen A. Smith? And you're definitely not Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp works harder than you at this. He's doing his thing. All right, bro, you, you don't get equality, man. This is not the NBA. You're no longer the top guy or one of the best forwards in the league anymore. You're not that guy anymore, bro. It's, you're just not that guy, fam. It's just not what you do anymore. You're not that guy. I know you don't want to hear it. I know you don't like it. I know you don't find favor with that, but that's not who you are, bro. You're not him anymore. On the, on the commentary podcast, you're... Your C list at best, your average at best, like Kevin Samuels. You don't get no second chances like that, bro. You're not swinging a bat like that. There are YouTubers out here that get way more chances. Big YouTubers, they mess up, and because of who they are, they, they a, a smaller creator would be gone. If Fresh and Fit, for example, the stuff that they were doing, and they and they didn't get kicked off the platform yet, it took a while for them to actually get taken down because of who they were. Because they were like the number one super chatted or number top five super chatted channel in the world at one point. And it took YouTube some time to demonetize them. Same thing with Candace Owens. It took them some time. You know, YouTube don't want to just lose a creator like that. It took some time. But don't get me wrong, they will do it. So instead of you looking at what you did wrong, Candace Owens and, and, and Fresh and Fit, these old black accountability Negroes, the first thing they start doing, well, what about the rest of the people? What about those on the left? It's not fair. Shut up. Shut up. Why don't you worry about what you're doing and stop complaining? So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Osha Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of Let's Live Junk. Which is your follow, you do scare the bell, we're out.